So what are the importance of stability in living things? Is it important for animals, plants? But most of the time it applies to animals and humans. So we look at baby. Baby uh, crawling on consider four limbs, uh, two legs and two hands, so it's four limbs. And uh, this position actually is more stable than standing because uh, a baby or an infant does not know how to walk in a stable way yet. Okay, the turtle, rhinosaurus, rhinosaurus is heavy and the legs are short and crocodile has a very low center of gravity. So the animals shown above have low COG and large base area. They do not topple easily. And what is the importance of stability in non-living things? Non-living things means non-animals, non-human. Racing car, table fan, baby walker, Bunsen burner, armchair, and Petronas Twin Tower. Okay, Petronas Twin Tower may have very high center of gravity, but their base is actually very strong. I heard that they use around 3 years to build to lay down the foundation and pour cement into the foundation all the time, every day. So you can sense how stable it is. The objects shown above have low COG and large base area. They do not topple easily. Okay. So you can also see that the horseman is actually bending down to, cut, to lower the center of gravity and the man walking down the hill also tend to lean backward a bit against the gravity. Gravity is trying to pull you down. You see every day uh, every day you use the ramp you know the ramp nearby your school uh, to walk up and down. You don't use the lift because lift is only for teachers. So you use the ramp to walk up and down when you walk down, it seems like there's some kind of force trying to pull you down, the gravity. So you actually lean backward a bit to counteract the effects of the, of the gravity. So you actually lean forward like this, more towards the left hand side of the, this picture. Because the gravity is going down the right hand side. And then the man who rode the board, he sits down instead of standing. Because once you stand, the center of gravity is high and the shape will become unstable. And even the, you know, the mud ramp pit here, or the person who is really good at riding bike, he also bent down his body to be stable. But actually, bending down the body also allows more air to move through, to cut down on air resistance. And then double decker, they fill up the bottom part first before uh, filling up the second deck. So you have a um, weight lifter or the person, the bus conductor who actually opened up his leg to increase the area and uh, senior citizens who use a cane as a third support other than the two legs because maybe the legs are getting weaker and uh, Paris Eiffel Tower, they have a very wide base area and you have a skateboard So what are the wrong concepts rectified? The center of gravity of object is always situated within the object itself. Not really, because the COG of some object lie outside the object. An L-shaped piece of cover and ring has a center of gravity outside the body. So this one we wouldn't know precisely. We cannot be so sure, we must test. So another wrong conception is uh, we cannot balance our body well if we stand on one foot because we are not used to this position. This is a very simple explanation for for children who has yet to learn uh, higher level science but now that we are here we should learn that we cannot balance our body well on one foot because we are less stable because center of gravity is raised and the base area is less okay your base area is less and center of gravity is raised an object is stable if it's heavy uh, not necessarily because some heavy object if they have very high center of gravity, can be toppled as well. So the most important thing is, if you want to talk about heaviness, something must be heavy and low center of gravity. And perhaps with a broad base. It can be something really heavy, 
uh, even low center of gravity, but the area is very small. Okay, it can be an object of small area, but low center of gravity, and also very heavy. But because of the area, it may be toppled quite easily. Okay, we can demonstrate this in class. Double decker bus is not very stable because it carries many passengers. Again, it's very simple explanation, but a uh, scientific explanation is double decker bus is not very stable because it has a high center of gravity and small base area. And the uh, last one, an old man uses a walking stick in order to strengthen his leg. Uh, no, actually it's to increase the base area so that he becomes more stable. The whole idea is increase the area. If you can't lower the center of gravity, how can you lower the center of gravity of an old person? You cannot. It's the same everywhere. Okay, so this is the end of the presentation and I hope you enjoy it and uh, I hope you learn science properly and uh, as you do your your topical exercises I hope that you gain so much from this lesson that you are ready to apply to your question thank you